everybody, we are back with another video today. We got another pickup, and this one is uh, some pops I picked up basically to round out a set, but uh, we're going to check them out. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review. So today we got three GameStop exclusives. We got the Conan Without Borders little lineup that they had over there. Uh, we ended up getting K-Pop Conan. What did we get? Bavarian and Armenian Conan. So let's check these out. Um, outside the box. These are, I believe, what? We got two 2018s and a 2019. The Armenian one is from 2019. So we'll check them out. We'll pop them out the box and we'll see what we got here. I do think it's neat to have the little stands, but we'll we'll see when we pop it out what we're talking about. We'll start off with the K-pop Conan. So again, GameStop exclusive, Conan Without Borders. Um, Bavarian and Armenian actually are all in the uh, set basically the uh, luchador conan is the only one missing from the i guess this little wave I, you can call it that um, what i did find interesting is that this is a 2018 one and the armenian one is from 2019 so i guess they i guess the wave was spread out over two years which is interesting the luchador one i don't know if that's one that game, I, maybe it is one that gamestop put out because i guess the other three are gamestop exclusive so maybe it is a gamestop exclusive so if you know, let me know down in the comments below if the Luchador one is, is not a bobblehead. And I guess he's K-pop, dressed like a K-pop star. He's got a little stand here. So the base actually isn't something that um, he has to stay on. But uh, let's see if he stands up. Yeah, he stands up. Probably not the best. I mean, I guess you can say, like, not the best. Well, actually, he stood up pretty well over there. Um, but when he's on the stand, I guess it makes it a little bit easier for him to move around. Here, let's take him off the stand, actually, and then we'll check out the pop itself. So he's got some pink trousers on with this uh, interesting shirt that's tied around his neck. I don't know why it's tied there. The shirt looks like it's on. Why is it tied? Very interesting. It even looks like it has buttons up the middle. I don't know why it has to be tied at the top. But she has uh, some kind of like tired eyes or I'm not really sure what's going on with his eyes there. It's not overspray. I don't know what's going on with his eyes. But you got Conan's red hairdo right here. And he's got, uh, I don't really know what's K-pop about this. Um, I guess I'm not too familiar with the BTS pop. So I'm not really, maybe the pink pants. Or this shirt maybe. I'm not too sure. Or maybe it's the eyes. I don't know. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. What makes this a K-pop Conan figurine? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. But we're going to put him back on his little base there. We'll slide him off to the side there. And then next, let's pull in Bavarian Conan. We'll check him out. I just hit uh, K-pop Conan in the face with the Excalibur sword. That's always great. All right, let's check out Bavarian Conan. So he has another little base as well. I believe all these have bases. So put that right there for now. And we'll see. Let's see. Does he stand up right off the bat? Bavarian Conan stands up. Pretty cool. Let's check out the uh, little leotard here. Looks like it's uh, painted rather well. I don't know what that little doodab is. That little giblet right there on top of the uh, his little chest piece, but something's there. Uh, it looks like glue. It feels like glue at least. It's uh, it's hard. It looks like actually something got chipped off there. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus. Yeah, it looks like the paint actually is chipped off there. Very interesting, but um, that is the little uh little doodab right in the right front and center of the pop itself and you got little conan here wearing a hat a little bavarian hat looks almost like a little mary poppins hat got a little bit of overspray on the uh, side and the front here as you can see there is just some green on his red hair which is interesting his hand isn't actually rested on his leg so it looks bizarre that it's hovering so this is a very interesting pop these conan pops are are very bizarre it almost looks like they're they're trying to make conan into like a freddy funko um you know turning him into like tons of other types of characters but uh, i find that very interesting other than that i mean the outfit's uh kind of legit i guess i mean if you wouldn't know it's conan o'brien I, I mean you could literally just probably put this out for christmas and you know what i mean and you could it looks like a Christmas doll, to be honest with you. I mean, it could just be a Christmas elf. Uh, if you didn't know it was Conan and you didn't have the Conan Without Borders, I mean, that is literally just a little Christmas elf. 
<laughs> be honest with you, this, who knows? I mean, you wouldn't, if you looked at this and I didn't tell you this was K-pop Conan, would you say, oh, that's K-pop version of Conan O'Brien? It's exactly what that is. You definitely wouldn't know what that is. So sometimes the people pops are a little interesting to discern what they actually are if they're not with their box, I guess you could say. Because again, you could put this in like a Christmas village and, uh, you know, without the stand and you would not know that that's Conan O'Brien. It just looks like a little Bavarian dude. You know what I mean? So we'll put him over there. Now we'll check out Armenian Conan. So this is 21, 22, and 24. 23 is the Luchador one. And then there's, I guess, 20 other one, uh, ones of these that were dropped in this Conan wave. I imagine the other ones are probably just as ridiculous as this wave is. At least this one is like like nationalities. He's like kind of dressed, well, I don't know, this K-pop one. I don't know what that, I guess that has to do with like a culture, I guess. Here we go, we got another base. Check out that base. You got the Armenian Conan, who he's got this, uh, like, purple garb on with gold trim. The paint job on it's pretty pretty spot on. I mean, it's, I don't really see, just a quick once over, I don't really see anything that's off kilter here. Um, I don't know what that is. It just looks like there's, like, black paint on the purple paint. But other than that, the gold for, you know, just doing a once over here, it, uh, it looks pretty good on that in regards to being where it's supposed to be and you know, being in the concentration it's supposed to be in. Hairline looks pretty good on this one. So the paint job on this one actually looks pretty good. The paint app, I should say, uh, looks pretty good on this one. So, uh, but again, like if I didn't tell you this was Armenian Conan, would you be like, oh yeah, that's Armenian Conan if I didn't show you anything else? So again, some of the people pops are really hard to discern. Let's see how he stands up though. Pretty good. Pretty good. Doesn't look like he wants to fall over either. They all seem to stand pretty rather well it just seems that the base just kind of solidifies their ability to not fall over at all and i guess when you have them all lined up they could kind of look good together too because you could just kind of line them up by oh well i guess you can't line them up by bases because the heads kind of conflict a little bit you got to kind of turn them a little bit i guess so that they can line up next to each other but there you go we got the conan without borders trio pack from gamestop let me know down in the comments below what you think of these three pops do you collect Conan without borders pops? And if so, um, do you notice the same thing in regards to some of these pops that could literally be discerned for pretty much anything else? Like this one, for example, could literally be um, probably put in a Christmas village and you wouldn't even know it's Conan O'Brien. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of that. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up for more content like this. Subscribe for more ad reviews every single day. So be on the lookout for that and have a great rest of your day.